What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is Sean, Editor-in-Chief over at 4 Geeks Like You and today you're tuned into a Taco Talk where I'm going to be reviewing episode 12 from Assassin Classroom called Kiyuki Takai no Jiken or Ball Game Tournament Time. Now, this episode is definitely not like the previous episodes, they're not trying to assassinate Kuro Sensei, you know, but there is a lot of character development that's going on here, mainly with Sugino. So Sugino and friends, they're walking past the school, they see the baseball club is practicing for this upcoming tournament. Sugino walks over, he sees some of his friends there, and they're like, hey, are you going to play in the game tomorrow? And he's like, I don't know yet, guys, you know, I, I think about it. And the captain, whose name is Shindo, is like, yeah, this, it doesn't matter, man, like, we don't need you, we're better than you. So you stay with the E-Class, the losers, and um, we'll do our thing on the field. This gets back to Kuro Sensei, and Kuro Sensei is like, oh, word, um, so E Class is not on the list to play in this tournament? I'll fix that. That gets fixed. The next day, Sugino and, his, and the male classmates, the boys, they go over to this tournament, and they're obviously, um, it, it obviously is gonna look like they're gonna lose, because they're like, hey, look at this guy, Sugino, um, um, Shindo was throwing these fast pitches. But what happens is, is that Kuro Sensei, Sensei taught them that, hey, you know, instead of swinging at these pitches, just bunt because they're just gonna, they're gonna go to the front everybody's protecting the outfield so they're they're not gonna really have a chance to run up so you guys are good you load the bases get back home and we'll keep scoring on them with the strategy this works for a while until asano the principal comes out and he's like oh we're like look what look what kuro sensei is doing well i think i'm gonna step in and kind of manipulate things up a bit be the puppet master so he goes over to the coach and he's like listen you look like you're a little nervous why don't you go take a break? And the coach is like, listen, nah, I'm good, I'm good. And he's like, you have a fever. You know, just relax. Let me take over. And the coach passes out. The coach is like, what are you? And Asano's just standing there like, I'm Asano. Look at me. Let me stand here all pretty. The hair blowing in my wind. I'm a badass. So that automatically sent up a red flag. If you didn't think that Asano was something, then now you should definitely um, be with it. Because... He has some kind of manipulative power where he can say certain things and manipulate people, with, either make them sick, make them fatigued, or, or make them stronger, like what he did to the team. Because we see that once he starts, you know, um, hyping up the team, he's like, you know, you guys are animals, you guys are killers, you're strong, your body's a temple, go out there and kill them, you know, do your thing. And everybody's like all pumped up, red eyes, they're, they're hitting way harder, they're like monsters, you know, not physically, but their aura is monstrous now. And obviously, this is because of um, Asano's influence. But uh, Kuro Sensei isn't done yet. He gets Karma to go out there and sort of like aggravate the crowd. He's like, "Listen, look at look at what Asano's doing. He has his team guarding the front now, basically protecting the, the front of Phil because they knew that we're gonna bunt, so they're afraid of us. Look at that. You guys are losers." And the crowd gets aggravated, and that's what Kuro Sensei wanted him to do: is to get the crowd aggravated and sort of like throw the team off a bit now it doesn't work so much until the end where they come up with an idea to actually step right up in shino's face as he's about to swing to sort of tempt him like listen you're scared right look at us like you guys come up close but we're gonna come right in your face and the pitch is gonna come to you and it's gonna look like you're gonna have to hit us but you can't because you know what we've been training for mad weeks to become assassins so you're not even touching us and this is shaking up shino shindo's like pride and his monstrous aura is decreasing and he's like like what's going on here and they actually strike him out it was a real cool scene because the bat is about to hit karma and you see the like karma and Sagino step back like man come on man you crazy you know what we've been doing for the past couple of weeks past couple of months come on and then they actually show like a little montage you could say of Colonel sensei uh training the boys or whatnot but that, this was a real good episode, man. I mean, it wasn't as as good as the, the previous episodes, but it's one that you can sit back and be like, oh, this is like a filler kind of filler episode, but it worked. Uh, I'm definitely giving this episode a B plus. I enjoyed it for what it was. I, I liked it. Uh, I like the fact that Asano is becoming more flexible with his abilities, let's say, and, and more in, um, interfering with Kuro Sensei's goals, you could say, because we know that the class is basically here to stop Kuro Sensei from blowing up the world. But at the same time, it's like Asano wants the world to get blown up because he's interfering with the class actually getting better and being able to defeat him. So, yeah, I, I like this episode. B plus for me, guys. Let me know what you thought below. 
Uh, what did you think about Asano? Do you think Asano is something? That he has something to do with Kuro Sensei? Again, guys, let me know below. And again, this is Sean from 4GLU, 4 Geeks Like You. Come over to that site at 4GeeksLikeYou.com and check me over at Twitter at 4GeeksLikeYou.